Hi, I'm Christian O'Connell, founder of the Manton Abbey Club. This is a group set up for men and male fans of the great Downton Abbey. We're just about to have our first public meeting here at the beautiful St. Ermans Hotel. Taking part in our first ever get together will be the creator and of course uh, the man behind the great show Downton Abbey and that's Julian Fellows. Also we've got the actors Dan Stevens, we've got Ian Glenn and Alan Leach. If you'd like to join our merry band of men that is the Manton Abbey Club, then please just go to facebook.com slash Manton Abbey Club. Thank you very much. We're here for Manton Abbey, which is about men talking about Downton Abbey. Have any of you encountered anyone in the pub the next day on a Monday saying, here, do you see that Downton Abbey? I can't believe it. A lot of the rugby boys, but they do it quietly. How much pressure do you get? You must get it all the time. In fact, oh, you can tell us. Come on, I won't tell anybody. Yes, my, my wife desperately tries to find the scripts. Um, and I, I left, I think, episodes one to five at home one day, and she, she found up. Who are you, Oliver Letwin? Can I? Get a look, can, after, can, get a look can after I, your documents. Can I read episodes one to five? I said, no, absolutely not. I, you know, I like to keep them as a surprise when they go out on television. She said, is it okay if I've already read them? <laughs> <laughs> How important do you think the scheduling was? I mean, because it always ends off my weekend very nicely, and prepares me for the week ahead. You do sort of lean back on Sunday night, and I think that's what we're right for. Um, a tremendously cutting edge, you know, jagged knife thriller uh, would, would be rather jarring, I think, on Sunday night. And for our, our characters sort of vaguely discussing whether their lives are going well or not, I think fits the mood better. But, but, you know, we were lucky to get that slot. After every Sunday it's on, I get a call literally two minutes later, and my mother goes, now, I'll tell you what I think's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> do, you part, do, do you pass those notes on to Julian? Go and listen. I, I don't, no, because some of her storylines, I'm like, thank God you're not writing this. <laughs> I think one of the nice things about having as large an audience as we do have is that we don't really have an audience profile because we, we've got old and young and north and south and all different backgrounds and, you know, nationalities and this and that and the other. Um, and so you have this lovely feeling of a kind of show that everyone seems to find something in. And if everyone finds something in it, why shouldn't men? Why does Downton appeal to men? I think it's a little bit different. Um, for a start, there are lots of very, very pretty girls in it, which always helps in very, very beautiful costumes. Um, but it's also, it, the plot is very different to your classic sort of Jane Austen type thing. Um, you know, it rattles along, there's, you know, there's both male and female issues all in the mix. And um, yeah, a lot of guys have said to me, you know, they normally leave the room when uh, their lady starts watching something like this. But these, these guys have stuck around and we're very grateful they have. I think in order to announce that you're a member of Manton Abbey, you have to have a certain inner confidence, <laughs> a certain bravery and self-worth. But what's wrong with that? I think it's great, yeah. I follow, the, I follow Manton Abbey on, on Twitter as well. They're great uh, for, for giving some advice in relation to, you know, etiquette, dress, how to do a half Windsor. was not aware until I watched the video. Given it's the end of the series, uh, these guys are going to need a support network and um, you know it's, it's important that it exists so please support our work. <laughs>